Deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful against the adversaries of the faith, and protect your people by your holy cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lift it up of your own will upon the cross. Bestow your mercy upon your new community that bears your name, Christ our God. Make your faithful people glad in your strength, giving them victory over adversaries. Let them have as an ally that invincible trophy, your weapon of peace. Now endeavor into the ages of ages. Amen. O never failing and fearful protection, O good and most praiseworthy Theotokos, do not turn away from our supplications. Establish the way of life of the Orthodox. Protect those who may have called to rule and grant them victory from heaven. For you have given birth to God and alone are blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. And we pray for Archbishop Isaiah and all our brotherhood in Christ. For you are indeed a merciful God who loved mankind, and to you we offer glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial, life-giving and undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God on the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Glory to God on the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Lord, how many are my foes, many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God, for you smite all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. I lie down asleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All the day I go about mourning. For my loins are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me. In the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my plague, and my kinsmen stand afar off. Those who seek my life later snares. Those who seek my hurt speak of ruin and meditate treachery all day long. But I am like a deaf man, I do not hear, like a dumb man who does not open his mouth. Yes, I am like a man who does not hear and in whose mouth are no rebukes. For you, O Lord, I wait. It is you, Lord my God, who will answer. For I pray, only let them not rejoice over me who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity, I am sorry for my sin. Those who are my foes without cause are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good are my adversaries, because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, Lord. My God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, Lord. My God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord, my salvation. God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is feasted as with marrow and fat, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips when I think of you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to your right hand upholds me. But those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. 
They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be the prey for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall glory, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. I think of you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now yeah. and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Lord my God, I call for help by day. I cry out in the night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to Sheol. I am reckoned among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength, like one forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you overwhelm me with all your waves. You have caused my companions to shun me. You have made me a thing of horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape. My eye grows dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon you, Lord. I spread out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Do the shades rise up to praise you? Is your steadfast love declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in Abaddon? Are your wonders known in the darkness, or your saving help in the land of forgetfulness? But I, Lord, cry to you. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast me off? Why do you hide your face from me? Afflicted and close to death from my youth up, I suffer your terrors. I am helpless. Your wrath has swept over me. Your dread assaults destroy me. They surround me like a flood all day long, and they close in upon me together. You have crushed, you have caused lover and friend to shun me, and my companions are in darkness. Lord my God, I call out for help by day. I cry out in the night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord, the Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his way to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor requite us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, hearkening to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, my soul. Hear my prayer, Lord. Give ear to my supplication. In your faithfulness, answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter to judgment with your servant, for no living man is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued me. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore, my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I muse on what your hands have wrought. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Make haste to answer me, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on a level path. For your name's sake, Lord, preserve my life. And in your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. And in your steadfast love, cut off my enemies and destroy all my adversaries, for I am your servant. Answer me, Lord, in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me, Lord, in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Let your good spirit lead me on a level path. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. being of the holy churches of God and for the union of all that is prayed to the Lord. This holy house and those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God that is prayed to the Lord. Archbishop Isaiah, the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, for armed forces on land, at sea, and in the air, their safe return, their families, and all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, every city and country, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the medical doctors, the researchers, and all first responders and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O oh God, in your grace. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You belong all the glory, the honor, and the worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A wise fisherman of the civilized world, from God you received a compassionate heart, and thus you intercede on behalf of us who cry out, Lord, save your people and your city, and free our souls from the woes that beset us by the prayers of your apostles. Their proclamation went forth <clears throat> into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. The fishermen undid the knots of the philosophers with the poles of the cross and the net of the word of truth. They enlightened the Gentiles to worship you, the true God, and glorify you piously. For this reason we cry out to you, who empowered your apostles. Glory to the Father and the Son, Glory to the consubstantial spirit. Glory to God who through those men enlightened the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Without burning, you conceive the fire of divinity. And without seed, you gave birth to the Lord, who is the source of life. O Theotokos, full of grace, preserve us who magnify you. Believers, let us sing and extol Christ's apostles, for they were truly wise. They were his sonorous prophets. Like horses they distributed the sea of the hidden in godliness. As if from the deep they drew a people and placed them in the church of God and the port of salvation by the Holy <laughs> Spirit's grace. The heavens declare the glory of God, the firmament shows the creation of his hands. The light from light that shone pre-eternally now has in time appeared to us on earth in physical body. And through you, O oh blessed man, he illumined the whole wide world. Therefore we who were by your divine words and teachings illumined, sing your praise, holy apostles and honor your sacred memory. Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O ever virgin maid, we believers all have you, an advocate with God, and for help and assistance, we run to your holy church, and we pray to you, Therefore save us from the wicked spite of the demons and deliver us from frightful condemnation for we ever sing your praise. You physically sojourned in the city of Mira and with the spirits may you were no heavenly anointed O higher of me by the mercy of your miracles, you who pour on burn and the streams filled with fragrance, those who wish to sing you fragrant hymns and to honor with fragrance your memory. God is wondrous in his saints. Let all of us beseech the holy martyrs of Christ. 
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and victorious when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. You are illustrious first in ascetic practice. Afterwards, you shone brightly in martyric contests. We all gloriously honor you with hymns, O Hiram Arthur Lucian, as a shining luminary. Cease not interceding on behalf of us all. Cease not interceding on behalf of us all. Fully armed with the knowledge of God and your mind illumined with divine glory, <laughs> O athlete enlightened by the Spirit, you were a sharpened blade that utterly mowed down the weeds, the foreign doctrines of heretics, O glorious saint. And as a herald of the truth, preparing all for life, you rescue those who reverently come to you from dangers and hardships. Cease not interceding on behalf of us, of us all. Cease not interceding on behalf of us all. See not Zion. On October 15th, we commemorate the Holy Higher Martyr Lucian, Presbyter of Greater Antioch. On this day, we commemorate our devout father, Sabinus, the bishop. <clears throat> On this day, we commemorate our devout father, Barsus, the confessor, bishop of Edessa. On this day, we commemorate the contest of a monk who became a martyr. There is an edifying story about him. We also commemorate our devout and God-bearing father, Ephthemius the New of Ansira. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. (laughs) 
My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Sing in me, O Teron, son Cherubim, Ke and Doxoteron, I sing Cretos, son Seraphim, Tina the Aphoros, Theologon, Ke Cuson, Tina the Seodocon, Semegalino, for as regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim, who taught the rapture, who gave birth to God the word, and are truly theotokos, who do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Hinting me, O Teron, for Cherubim, and looks O Teron, as in Cretos and Seraphim, in Adia Foros, Eolog and Tecuson, in Ando Seodo he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the fraud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You with all corruption gave birth to God the word, and our truly theotokos, you do be magnified. Because of the melody of disobedience, Eve received the curse within herself. But you, a virgin Theotokos, have blossomed forth the blessing to all the world. By means of the one who sprang from your pregnancy, and therefore you do we all magnify. It is truly right to bless you, Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure, and mother of our God, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You with a corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify.
the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars and light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name, for he spoke, and they were made. He commanded, and they were created. He established them forever, and unto ages of ages. He set forth his ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deeps, fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind, which perform his word, mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, elders with younger. Let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in earth and heaven. He shall exalt the horn of his people, a hymn for all his saints. For the children of Israel are people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp. Let them sing to him. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The holy ones shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the peoples to shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to fulfill among them the written judgment. This glory have all his holy ones. Praise God and his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, <laughs> to ages of ages, amen. To you belongs glory, O Lord our God, and to you we send up glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to ages of ages, amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us, for you are the only Holy One. You are the only Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I shall bless you, and I shall praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your life we shall see light. Turn Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this day we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our Father, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us, just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy mm -hmm. remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs the hymn, to you belongs glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Let the whole 
day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, that it's as the Lord. Grand is the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, that it's as the Lord. Grand is the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, that it's as the Lord. Grand is the Lord. That which is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, that it's as the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, that it's as the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Let us ask for Krishna into our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, the ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You are the God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and to you we offer glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To Holy Lord, dwelling on high and beholding things below, and with your eye that observes all, keeping watch over the whole creation, to you we have bowed the neck of our soul and body, and we beseech you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. And as you are good and you love humankind, pardon us. If we have sinned in anything voluntary or involuntarily, grant us your blessings both in this world and in the world above. To yours it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God. And to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The most melodious harp of the apostles, set in motion by the Holy Spirit, abolished the rights of the odious demons, and by preaching faith in the only Lord, it redeemed the nations from the delusion of the idols, and taught them to worship the consubstantial trinity. We were filled with your mercy in the morning, and in all our days we were greatly rejoiced and were glad. Let us in return for the days you humbled us, for the years we saw evil things, and behold your servants and your works and guide their sons. Let us with one voice together extol saints, Peter and Paul, with Luke and Mark and Matthew, John and Andrew and Thomas, Jacobus and Philip, Bartholomew, also Simon and Thaddeus, and let us worthily praise the entire choir of divinely called disciples of Christ. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the works of our hands. Greatly rejoice in the Lord, O martyrs, for you fought the good fight, you stood up to emperors, and you were victorious over tyrants. You were not frightened by fire and sword, as wild beasts devoured your bodies, and you joined the angels in sending up your of praise to Christ. From heaven you receive the crowns. Pray now that peace be granted to the world and great mercy to our souls. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Holy, holy God, God, mighty, holy, holy immortal, have mercy, have mercy on us. Holy, holy God, God, holy mighty, holy, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever through the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we beseech you, yours, and have mercy. Let us pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. And we pray for Archbishop Isaiah. And we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the higher deacons, the monastics, for all our brotherhood and crime. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians, those residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners and members of the parish council, the stewards, the benefactors of this holy church. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all of our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep before us, and especially for those for whom we are to pray today, who have been piously laid to their rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. And we pray for those bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, for the people here present who wait your great and rich mercy. To you, our merciful and loving God, and, who, and with you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Wisdom, blessed are you, Christ our God, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, make firm, Lord our God, the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the Holy Church in this city forever. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. 
You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. Glory to our God, and our whole glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet for one John the Baptist, the holy glorious praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious triumphant martyrs and the righteous God-bearing fathers, Pandalim the great martyr and healer, Kirikos and his mother Yuli, to the holy fathers of Pandokrator's monastery, Dao Pendelis. Have the holy righteous hands of God give a Kim and Anna of Saint Lucianos, whom we commemorate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loved humankind. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. And the peace from above and the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Isaiah, the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. President of our country, for all civil authorities, for armed forces on, on land, sea, and in the air, their safe return, their families, and all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Labor for weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Those at sea and those who travel by land or air for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrap danger and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, for all the doctors, the medical personnel, the researchers, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by your grace. 
commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. Lord, to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High. As presbyters is now to so as so sunny monk to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night to the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord my God is upright, and there is no wrongdoing in him. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Te <laughs> Meta pando don agium ni monef sandes e aptus ke alilus ke pasant in zoinimon Christo to teo para to meto. O ti santo gratos ke suesti ni basilia ke dinamis ke doxa tu patros ke tu iu ke tu aiu pneumatos. Nin gai ke su se onas to ne onno. Amen. 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 And he established the world which shall not be moved. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified. We sing to you, Alleluia. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. So Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy begotten Son and Word of God, immortal One, who for our salvation did so humble yourself by taking on flesh. Taking flesh by, by the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, without changing you become man, and were crucified Christ our God, but conquered death by your death. As one 
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, in your grace. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Blessed is the end. Sophia for Try. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. has gone out into all the earth. Let us be attentive. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I shall not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage now as always, Christ will be honored in my body then. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If it is to be life in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh, more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith, so that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ Jesus because of my coming to you again. Only let your man of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. Be with you, the reader. Hallelujah. 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 Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. according to St. Luke. 
Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done, and he was perplexed because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the old prophets had risen. Herod said, John, I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he sought to see him. On their return, the apostles told him what they had done, and he took them and withdrew apart to a city called Bethsaida. When the crowds learned it, they followed him, and he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, good morning. Christ is in our midst. This beautiful morning, Thursday morning, where we will be offering this memorial on behalf of so many loved ones. And uh, the one year is coming up now for Natalie Ariani. Five years for Angie five years for Carol Anastasia, which is hard to believe. It is hard to believe. But you know, there's something beautiful that sometimes we have to acknowledge that God winks at us and he shows us that he sees everything and is a part of everything and a beautiful master plan that is beyond our understanding because we didn't know exactly when we were going to do, do this and we talked about Thursday because it's the opportunity for all of us to come in a very safe way for the elderly and for the high risk and of all the days look at the epistle reading the epistle reading is gorgeous because of the fact that it talks about what they're experiencing First of all, I shall not be at all ashamed, but that full courage now is always Christ will be honored in my body. And I think, you know, I remember talking about how we talked about Natalie did it her way and honored life and was such a loving presence. But she went through a lot in her body. And Angie as well. And Carol was a healer of the body, the mind, and the heart. And you have people who went through a lot and also sought healing, and who honored Christ fully as they could in their body, in courage, and whether by life or by death. Carol came to us tragically ending her life just seemed when everything seemed to be taking off. And the same thing with Natalie. But look at the next line. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If there is anything that probably our loved ones want to say to us right now, as we feel their loss, for me to live is Christ, and to die is is gain. It is to be life in the flesh. That means fruitful labor for me. St. Paul was already in prison. St. Paul was already looking forward to the fact that he would probably be taken up. But he thinks that there's even more to do. And he wants the fruitful labor. And I'm sure we felt the same for Natalie. 
And for Carol, she felt there was more to do. And for Angie, yet, which I choose, which shall I choose, I cannot tell. Even St. Paul could not tell which way it was going to go. I am hard pressed between the two. St. Paul wants to stay and do more for the church, do more for the people to spread Christ as much as he can. Can you believe this is the epistle reading for the, your loved one? My desire, though, he says, is to depart and be with Christ. That is where the soul goes. That is where the energy of the person goes, to the creator, to Christ. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. St. Paul says that. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. On your account. And so St. Paul tried to live longer for the church. And I'm sure if Natalie, if Carol, and if Angie could live longer for you, they would have. And it's a very strong statement, I know. They would have. But they want us to know that for them to have died is gain. And we have today a beautiful saint, and that's St. Paul, who is overseeing it with his icon, your loved one. And St. Paul is with Natalie and has taken Natalie to Christ with Carol, Anastasia, and with Angie. For this epistle is very true and worthy to be listened to and believed. For me to die is gain. And they are with us in a way that we can't comprehend because we know that we cannot live in this world without God. And that just as we're taking in oxygen and can't even see it and breathing out carbon dioxide, and as we are exchanging these gases in our body, taking in the good and releasing the bad, taking in everything that is life, and we don't even see it, but we know it's there by science, we are all living and taking in God. And with God taking them in, they're with us. They're with us, they know us, they love us and they will always be with us. And they're closer to us now than ever before, like Christ is to our breath and to our very heartbeat. Because of Christ, I'm coming to you again, says St. Paul. He tells us this, let our lives now be worthy of this good news. We know that they are alive, and that they are even living a greater life than we could comprehend. And let's live according to that belief and know that and understand that and have that joy within us, that light and that love that overcomes everything in this world and is the foundation of everything. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grant that always being protected by your power, to you may offer up the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Again, we bow down before you and we pray to you, a good and loving God. Hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. 
Three. 
Let us complete our supplication to the Lord. For these precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by your grace. For this whole day, that it may be perfect, holy and peaceful and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For things that are good and profitable to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remainder of our lives in peace and penitence. Let us ask the Lord. That the end of our lives may be Christian, without pain, blameless and peaceful. And for a good account at the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Amen. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Oh, you, Lord. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of all people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence so that the sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, that the good spirit of your grace may dwell upon all of us, upon these gifts presented here and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another. 
another that with one mind we may confess. Be attentive. I, I believe, believe in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence of the Father, through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation he came down from the heavens and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures and ascending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic church, church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. An offering of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right to praise you, to glorify you, to bless you, to thank you and to worship you in all places of your dominion, for you are God, ineffable, incomprehensible, invisible, inconceivable, existing always as you do exist. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you have brought us from nothingness into being, and when we fell away, did raise us up again. You do not cease doing everything to bring us to heaven and to grant us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all these things we know and do not know. For the visible and invisible bounties that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to receive from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and myriads of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, which are six-winged, many-eyed and soar with their wings. Don epinicio nimno nad donda, vonda que cragota que le gonda.
these blessed powers, O Master, who love humankind, we also cry and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy, magnificent is your glory. You did so love your world as to give your only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For having come and having fulfilled all the dispensation planned for us, on the night that he was betrayed, or rather surrendered himself for the life of the world, having taken bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, having thanked, blessed, and sanctified it, he broke it and he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Love it, fayete. Tuto muestito soma, toi perimon clomenon, is afes in amartion, receive, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Et ex aptu pandes, tu tu esti tu em amor, tu discenis ni aficis, tu iperimon ke polon e kinomenon, is afes in amartion, drink from it all of you, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Ah, Assume the resurrection the third day of ascension. Amen. Prospero men, kata panda, ke dia panda, thine own of thine own, we offer to thee on behalf of all and for all. Make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Exeretos is Panagia Sacrandu, Hyperblogimenis en Loxu, Vespini Simon Theotoku, Kai Parthenu Maria. It is truly right to call your best, a
Bishop Isaiah, grant that he may serve you, holy churches, in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years to rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us has prayerfully in mind, and all your people. And all your and grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your honorable majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For these precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Let our merciful God, who has received them in his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar, to a scent of spiritual fragrance, may send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. <laughs> Having us for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Και καταξίω στον ημά δέσποτα με τα παρησία σα κατά κρίτο. Στον μάνε πικαλίστε σε τον επουράνιο θεό. Πατέρα και λέγει. Πατρίμον, ο Ισραηλί, αγιαστήτο το όνομά σου. Ερθέ του βασιλεία σου. Και ενισχύτε το θέλημά σου. Πόσο τον ουρανό και επί τη γη. Στον άρτον ημών των επιουσιών. Δώσε με σήμερα. Κι άφησε μην τα φλήματα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμε τους πλέτους ημών, και εμείς ενέχεις μας προσπέσμων, αλλά είσαι μάθος από τον Ιερό. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. To thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And in your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We thank you, O King Invisible, who by your infinite power have created all things. By the fullness of your mercy, you have brought forth all things out of nothingness into being. Do yourself, O Master, look down from heaven upon all those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, our Almighty God. Do you therefore, Master, administer these offerings to all of us for the good, according to the special need of each of us, sail with those at sea, accompany those who travel, and you who are the physician of our souls and of our bodies, heal the great, the sick. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together with you all, holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who did come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is your sacred body and this your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, both known and unknown, and make me worthy to partake of your sacred mysteries for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for holy communion. O Creator, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire which burns the unworthy. Wherefore do you cleanse me from every stain? Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical feasts. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as to Judas, but like the thief will I confess. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Tremble, O mortal, beholding the divine blood, for it is as a lighted coal burning the unworthy. It is God's body and deifies and nourishes me. It deifies my soul and wondrously nourishes my mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with your divine love have you changed me. But do you burn away with spiritual fire my sins and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of you, that rejoicing in your goodness I may magnify your two presences. Into the glorious company of your saints, how shall I, the unworthy, enter? For should I also dare to enter the festal chamber, my robe betrays me, for it is not a festal garment, and I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. Cleanse my soul, O Lord, from pollution, and by your compassion save me. O merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to me for judgment through my unworthiness but rather for the purification and sanctification of my soul and body, and as an earnest of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave to God and to place in the Lord my hope of salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical feast, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as to Judas, but like the thief will I confess. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Peace pass on in me, exceed then a thorn falls upon me. Okay. 
Savior, for the remission of all sins and for life everlasting. The servant of God, Tatiana, the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior, for the remission of all sins and for life everlasting. The servant of God, Susan, the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, mission of all sins and for life everlasting. The servant of God, Stefan, the body and the blood. Mission of all sins and life everlasting, the servant of God. Dosono teos ton laon su ke blogi son din kliro no mi an su O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the heavenly spirit. We now have found the true faith by our worship in the undivided Trinity. Be exalted, O God, above all the heavens, and may your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above all the heavens, and may your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above all the heavens, and may your glory be over all the earth. Evloitoso Theosimon, Pandotenin keai keis tu seonas toneono. Keep us in your holiness that all the day we may meditate 
Let us arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by your grace. Having asked the Lord that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are our sanctification, and to you we ascribe all the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people, bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Do you glorify them by your divine power and forsake not us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled the dispensation of the Father. You fill our hearts now with joy and gladness, always, now and ever, to the ages of ages. This time we will begin the memorial service again for Natalie Ariani, for Carol Anastasia, and for Angeliki, our Angie. May God, who already has them and is filling them with every, every joy of heaven above, May this God bless us and keep us and may make his face to shine upon all of us as we pray for them and may the God do everything good for them and for us as we pray all together the service with great faith. <laughs> Don I no horo, severn pigin tisuis, cathedan paradisu, evro cavot in odoniatis metanias, to Apollo los probaton egoimi, anacale se mesotir que so son me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes, give rest, O God. Servants have placed them in paradise, where the choirs of the saints and the righteous will shine as the stars of heaven. And to your departed servants, give rest, O Lord, and forgive all their offenses. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the threefold radiance of the Lord, let us pray and let us shine in soul. Holy are you, eternal Father, O eternal Son and divine Spirit. Illumine us to worship you with faith and deliver us from the fire eternal. Now and ever, through the ages of ages, 
amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who through the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theodokos, may we find paradise. the spirit of the righteous made perfect give rest of savior to the souls of your servants preserving them for the life of blessedness that is with you O lover of mankind in your eternal peace O lord where are your, your saints, saints are reposing all the rest of your departed servant souls for you blessed repose of the servants of God, for Angeliki and Angie, for Anastasia, Carol, and for Natalie Ariani, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all of their errors, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God will place their souls where the righteous rest, granting them the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of all of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh who have trampled down death and have crushed the power of the devil and granted life to your world, do yourself, O Lord, give rest to the souls of your servants, Angeliki, Angie, Carol, Anastasia, and Natalie, Ariani, who have fallen asleep in a place of light. 
in a place of green pasture, in a place of rest and repose, where there's no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin they have committed in word or deed or thought. For you are a good God who loves humankind. There is no one who lives and does not sin. Only you are without sin. Your righteousness is the everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants. Angeliki, Angie, Carol, Anastasia, Natalie, Ariane, who, have cri who Christ our God, and to you we ascribe all the glory, together with your eternal Father, your all holy God, and life giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. come upon you through his divine grace and love for all mankind, always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. May Christ, our true God, have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, through the intercession of the holy prophet forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs, the ecumenical teachers, our holy father among the saints, John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, the divine service we have celebrated, the holy glorious triumphant martyrs, our holy God-bearing fathers, Pantaleem, the great martyr and healer, Kirikos and his mother, Yulit, the holy fathers of Pantocrator's monastery, Dao Pendelis, the holy righteous saints of God, Joachim and Anna, of Lucianos, the higher martyr and great bishop of Antioch, whom we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. May the Holy Trinity bless you and keep you through the intercessions of St. Lucianos and of all the saints, for he is a good God who loves all mankind. Please be seated. I want to thank uh, you for bringing the memorial service to us so that we can pray with you and remember and uh, it's appropriate that we offer the prayers on the five years, and it's good that we're doing that, and also for the one year. So, Natalia, Natalie, Ariani, the beautiful spirit that she is, is now more expanded, more greater than ever, and will always be with you. And she's preparing a place for you with God. And the same thing with Carol and the same thing with Angie, 
and I know that they're wonder having a wonderful time and we're praying for them and that everything is good and for us as well and for all of our loved ones we are in the kingdom right here and they are closer to us than ever when we come especially and receive Holy Communion we become one with Christ and his body and his blood God inside of us and we inside of him and then with all of us together and so this is a beautiful place to be and it is the only place where everything makes sense in our world because here is where we begin with the new heaven the new earth and where we are all going and what we are all trying to live even from now and to be the light in shining in this planet and the salt of the earth and that is what we are here for and God has a purpose for each and every one of us and gives us meaning in our lives and we are here to love one another and to live as fully as we can as Saint Paul said again I want to live for you but whatever it means for God for to me to die is Christ it is to gain Christ it is better but whatever I need to do so for all of us God has things for us to do doesn't he and we continue and we honor their memory and we let that love that we have multiply and great great fruit in this world the fruit of the Holy Spirit right love peace joy kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness all these beautiful things all right self-discipline God bless you God keep you and at this time now I'm going to pass out the andidro I know that they're preparing the koliva in the back for you to receive safely and I'll be right back I'm going to wash my hands one more time Tuesday? Yeah, that was last Tuesday. It's passed. <laughs> they already remember. Thank you, though. God bless you. God keep you, all of you. Please come forward. We'll give you some mandiduro. Faithful. God bless you. Thank you. Good morning. Dinamo. God bless you, sweetie. Hronya Polam. Magdamu. Thank you, God bless you, Karistoma, God bless you, God bless you, my Nikki, Nectaria, God bless you, wish you all the best, God bless you, sweetie, good to see you, thank you for being here, God look at you, God bless you. Give you this one, and I'll give you this one. God bless you. Thanks, so much.